Hi, I'm Craig with Appliancevideo.com, and today we're going to take a look at our GE Appliance Service Tool. Be sure to visit Appliancevideo.com, where you will find thousands of repair videos on the latest technology. And for a limited time, you can save big on an annual membership and take advantage of all of our premium benefits. Appliancevideo.com. Do it right the first time. Now what we have here, we have the box. You have the actual GE Appliance Service Tool here. We have the Ethernet cable. This is what you'll use 95% of the time when you hook up. We have the USB. Some things will only be able to plug in with the micro USB here. And of course, you have your instruction pamphlet. This will teach you how to get into Smart HQ. It'll also tell you a little bit about the system. Now, in order to log into Smart HQ, you do need an account with them. But usually the only way you're gonna get this service tool is if you have an account with GE anyways. To begin using your device, first, we're gonna go ahead and slide out the dispenser here. Now, because your GE service tool does not have an internal battery, your washing machine must be plugged in in order to be able to use it. Now this one has an ethernet port hidden right behind this rubber stop here. So what do is we will pull that back. Let's hook it into the machine. Let's see how to hook it into the ethernet safely. Get it fired up. Now let's grab our tablet. Now with our tablet here, make sure it is connected to Bluetooth. We are going to go to the Smart HQ service app. Let this load up here. Now once this is done loading, a video will pop up. Then you want to hit next. Then going to find the module and sync through Bluetooth. Once it is synced, it will show a blue indicator on the device showing that it is set up. Now we're getting into the actual app. Now there's a lot of things you can do on here. You can go to product overview and view more specifications about the products. You can do firmware updates. If there is a firmware update available for this product, it would show right here. Of course, you would want to do that. You can look at your F codes. No F codes on this. You can look at your service manuals. You can look at your service bulletins, et cetera, et cetera. Now, the next thing we'll do is hit next on the bottom. And this is gonna take us to the nitty gritty here. What we have here is we have diagnostic tests. You can put it through spin, agitate, or door lock. Now, when you hit one of these tests, you'll notice nothing is going to happen. What you'll need to do is on the bottom, hit the enter service mode. Now, you can click them. We'll lock and unlock the door. It has to go through the whole test here before it'll allow us to back out. There we go. Now you can choose the spin, agitate, etc. But once we are done using these cycles, you'll click exit service mode. Let's go back. Now you also have operate loads. Now this is going to give you your water valves, your pump, door lock again, your damper. Again, in order to do these, you'll have to enter service mode. It'll turn red and now you can select any of the functions that you need. Go ahead and click exit service mode. On the bottom, we have diagnostic history. You can find out the cycle history on here. This is great in case a customer is complaining. You can go through, show them if cold water didn't go in, if it operated good, etc. As you can see, there's a lot of different things that you can do with this application, this device. It is very powerful. You can access different modes through the actual UI and go through like that, but this makes it quick, easy, accessible for the technician. Makes it a lot easier when you're on the road to just be able to pull it out and start individual loads. Now, of course, if you want to get out of it, you can either click back or I recommend going down to the bottom, closing out of it completely. You can unplug your device 
Make sure you pinch on the cord and then set it to the side. Thank you for watching another quality video from appliancevideo.com. If you found this video helpful, make sure you click the like and subscribe to our channel.